Hello everyone, welcome to our fun and educational series, where today we're diving into the world of pollinator gardens. These aren't just any gardens, they're special havens that provide food and shelter for bees, butterflies, and other vital creatures that help our plants grow by pollinating them. Let's explore how these amazing gardens work and why they're so important for our planet. Pollinators play a crucial role in our ecosystem. They move from flower to flower, collecting and transferring pollen. This process, known as pollination, is essential because it helps plants produce fruits and seeds. Imagine an apple tree, a strawberry bush, or even a cocoa plant that gives us chocolate. None of these could exist without the help of pollinators. Creating a pollinator garden is a wonderful way to give back to these important creatures. By planting a variety of flowers that pollinators love, we can support their survival and ensure the continuation of plant life. Ideal plants for a pollinator garden include sunflowers, which tower high and attract bees. Lavender, with its soothing fragrance that lures butterflies. And a mix of wildflowers, which provide a rich source of nectar. Here's how you can start. Choose a sunny spot in your garden, or use containers on a balcony or patio. Make sure the area gets plenty of sunlight, as most flowering plants thrive in bright light. Plant a variety of flowers to ensure blooms throughout the growing seasons providing continuous food for pollinators. Remember, the diversity of plants not only beautifies your garden, but also supports a wider range of pollinators. Each type of flower can attract different pollinators, so having a mix can turn your garden into a busy hub of wildlife activity. Isn't it incredible how planting a few flowers can make such a big difference? By starting a pollinator garden, we help sustain the environment supporting the bees, butterflies, and other pollinators that play a vital role in our ecosystem. Let's take action to create beautiful spaces that nourish these essential creatures. Thank you for joining me today. Let's each commit to adding some pollinator-friendly plants to our spaces, whether in a large garden or a few pots on a deck. Keep an eye out for the delightful visitors you'll attract and enjoy the vibrant life your garden will bring. Let's keep our pollinators well-fed and happy ensuring a healthy planet for generations to come. Happy gardening, and I can't wait to hear about the pollinators you spot in your new garden.